Hi, this is Tweak. On this week's episode of Tweaks with Tweak, we're going to take a leftover beads, a brass bell, and add a prism. Join us! Supplies you need for this project are, you will need an assortment of beads and that will be your choice. I'll show you what I use as we go along. You will need a brass bell and you will need a crystal prism ball along with some wire. So let's get going. Who would have thought that me cleaning out and sorting my beads and my bells and I'd come up with this beautiful prism and brass dancer. Let's show you how I put her together. We start out with some wire. I'm going to need, I'm thinking at least 16 inches, I want a little more. Double this over, so I want at least 16 inches, 15, 16 inches of wire. So I'm going to double that over, I'm going to take, starting off with one of my prisms. These are beautiful, I got these online, they have a nice channel that have been drilled through the prism ball and the sparkle you get these are just beautiful I keep going back to them because I love them so much to start with that now I had these bells I thought how could I get the bell incorporated with the prism well that would mean taking this brass bell and taking it apart I'm going to take the center out of it I'm going to take the brass piece and just get it straight, take the bend out of it. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to wiggle it a little bit where it comes through at the top of the bell. Now this material is pretty soft, so I want to be gentle. See, and it pops. And if I can get the clasp down here and just pull it out. That's what was hanging inside the bell. Now I have just the brass piece ready to string onto my project. But I don't want it to hang just straight up on the prism ball. You could do that, but I don't hear any ringing going on. So I had to put a little bit of a buffer there. And to do that, I used one of these nice beads that I had over here. These are just wooden beads. They're elongated, which I liked. And I'm gonna add it to the string, both of the wires going through this bead. Set it there, and see how it's got a little bit of a bounce? I'm counting on that. I'm following my pattern here. Then I took a bead, a crystal bead, and I add it to, and that's what I have there. And now when I put the bell string that on, there's gonna be a little bit of a give there so that the bell will be able to ring. See how it's hanging up a little bit high? Touch, so you get just that little bit of bell sound. Perfect. Let's construct the rest of our little dancer. That would represent her skirt. The prism is gonna add dazzling light. Now this next piece might make you laugh. This is the top of a Christmas ornament. When things bust around here, I save the pieces. They're called findings but I like the way this sat on the top of the bell. And it just sits there, almost acts like a belt for her skirt. And it has just that little top still sticking out there, the top of the bell. And to cover that up, I chose a really pretty rondelle bead. Look at this one. Strung that on. See how pretty that's getting? Now that little hole there is almost covered up. The next piece we have, now I want a bead. This is going to represent her midriff. This is actually, that'd be really pretty just like that, wouldn't it? But I want mine to be a dancer. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because I want to add some arms. And I'm going to do that with these elongated beads. So you've got this so far and I'm going to go ahead and put a very loose knot. I'm going to tie it twice. 
I don't want to tie it too tight because I want the bell still to ring. And if you go too tight, you might lose some of the space that gives you the ringing ability. Okay, so now I've got my ring. And I've got a right and a left side on the wire. Here's the construction of each arm. There's going to be a little bead at the top where her shoulders would be. Then that would be your arm and that would be a hand. So you want to do it on each side. We're reversing it, little arms. So on this side, we go with a little bead strung on this wire and then your elongated bead. This could be whatever kind of bead you want as long as it's elongated. And then a little bead here. I'm using sticking with the crystal prism beads because they look uniform and pretty. They sparkle and that's going to be one of her arms. To keep that there, I'm going to go over this back through the elongated bead. You see that? Go back through. Okay. And now I'm going to go through the next little bead because we're coming back to the center. And this is my way of creating her little arm. So now we've got how to put those together. There's one bead or white side that's loose and one that's taut. Take the one that's tight, hang on to that. You could even use a tool if you'd like. And one side's tight. And just pull. Looks like I had the wrong one. There we go. Okay, you want to pull so that's tight. And see how that, that just that piece of wire disappears? And there you have her little arm on one side. Now let's do it on the other side. This one's good. This one's a little too loose. Come here, you. So I'm going to pull the elongated bead up. See how that one's loose? And then pull. And there we have our little arms. Now, to keep them in one place, because I'd like them to be on either side of her body, I'm going to add one of these bead caps. This, again, this is just stuff I had kicking around. This is from an old Christmas ornament, piece of garland. So I'm going to put this on. And this is going to act as a collar. It's also going to hide that little area where her arms come together. So I'm going to spread her arms apart a little bit and I'm very easily, gently going to bend that metal. The metal is very easily bent. Just a piece of tin, I believe. And now we have her body and her little bodice acts almost like a collar. So let's finish her off. See how cute and how easy this is. You just got to get creative. I wanted something there. This is one of those rondelle beads again, a different one. I just wanted a little bit of bling there at her neck. And think of it again as, as a collar. Let's see, how am I doing over here? Ooh, I'm doing really well. So now I want a place for her head to sit. This is gonna be her, be her head. And I want that to be a little more secure. So here's another bead cap. And I'm using brass, I'm using silver, I'm using gold. I'm not at all persnickety about what's here. I just want the pieces to fit and overall they give a really nice effect. So there is her neck and a little place, uh, like a fringe of a collar, for her head to sit. Now this is a 12, I think, crystal bead. There is her head. See, when I pulled down to add the last uh, bead finding, her arms actually go down a little bit. I kind of like that too, because I'm putting pressure on, on, the, the, uh, on the wire. So we've got her head now. Because she doesn't have hair, I'm gonna use another one of these bead caps and I'm gonna push it down on her head so it, it cups her, the bead. That would be a cap or I would consider hair. And now we're just gonna have some fun. Let's see, how did I do it over here? 
Okay, I'm actually trying to fashion like a little crown. I'm taking another one of these beads, rondelle beads, and again, they're all different. You can see there's one that's really big on the uh, rhinestones and one that's more like iridescent and one that's got gold tinges to it. It all works. So just gather up what you've got and start playing around with it. Here's one of those findings again. Now this one I'm going to put up and to me that gives like a crown effect. Now I'm going to add another one just because I wanted her to have more of a crown effect. Layer up these bead findings, these caps. Okay. And now I've got a little crystal. I'm sticking with the crystal beads. It's all going to add extra sparkle. And there she is. Look at that. Now to finish her off. A couple ways of doing this. I definitely have too much wire here. That's my ammo. I always use too much wire. Now I'm adding on. That is a crimping bead. And what I want to do is try to push the end of this piece of wire into that crimping bead. What I have to determine here now is I'm trying to push it into the next little bead as well. I want to hide those ends and I want this to be a nice looking loop for her to hang. So I'm pushing down on the wire while I'm pushing the edges in of that wire and now I've got to crimp that bead. So I'm going to grab, pull down, and hope for the best here. Because sometimes I don't push that end in properly and it comes out. And it looks like done. Got it. Look at that. I, okay. I'm just so pleased with this because not only is she going to sparkle brilliantly and uh, she's got that little bit of a ring. I can't wait to hang her with her friends someplace which will catch a lot of light. <laughs> so if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the bell so you know another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, gather up your beads. Make some of these prison and brass dancers. See you again.